Christopher and Alyssa welcome you all to the very joyous occasion of their wedding. Today we celebrate this couple and the journey that has brought them to this time and place where they have come to honor the depth of their commitment to and their love for one another. I'm from East St. Louis, Illinois, as is uh, cousin Christopher Dunaby. And East St. Louis is a, a small town right on the other side of the river from St. Louis, Missouri, that's much like New Orleans, Louisiana, where the beautiful bride is from. And there is a 673-mile distance between East St. Louis and New Orleans, Louisiana. And I truly believe and know that God is what brought these two people together. Over, despite that 673-mile distance, there's only one family member that you get to choose, and that's your spouse. And so, as all of us know, each of them are very much catches. And so the fact that they've chosen one another says a lot. And just know that you've chosen one another, and that's not coincidence, it's not happenstance, it's that God made you for one another. And so with that, I ask that everyone will raise their glass so that we can toast to the Mr. and Mrs. Christopher and Alyssa Dunham. Here, here. Cheers. shares with Chris. Who would have thought that that day at the pool party would have led to this day? We have been through so many ups and downs. A few people here can attest to that. But one thing we can all say is that we worked through it and now look at us. I received a phone call from Dallin when you were in your car accident. My heart immediately dropped and I was overwhelmed with emotions. It was very hard for me to understand those feelings, but I knew it was a message from God. And at that moment, I realized I couldn't see myself living without you. Chris, I'm your biggest fan. I get to see a little more of who you are than everyone else does, and that is my favorite part. The man I love is a man that only I know, and words can't express how much I cherish that. You are truly yourself around me. You do also, without a doubt, love me for me, and for that, I am forever grateful. I will always take you as you are, always loving you for who you are now and who you are going to become. I promise to choose you every day and to work with you to foster and cherish a relationship of equality. I know that together we will build a life far better than either of us could imagine alone. Chris shares with Alyssa. To the beautiful Mrs. Donaby. Alyssa, you exude beauty and you make my heart smile every day. The day that you granted my number one wish and said yes to me when asking for your hand in marriage, I didn't have to ask for anything else because by me having you, I'm complete. Over the years, it hasn't been easy to deal with my stubbornness and sometimes mean ways, but it was just because I was afraid to let you close to my heart. I love you for teaching me how to love and to restock the fridge after I drink all your water. <laughs> I love that you were persistent in breaking down the walls that I had built up for so long. You were that one woman I was willing to change for and show what a great person I had hidden inside. You are not just part of my life, but now you are my life. This life you live was a gift, but I knew when God placed you in my life, I had the grand prize. Thank you for being patient. You've seen the potential in me and not what I was, but what I was becoming. My ultimate promise to you is making sure your dreams come true. I will challenge myself on a daily basis to make sure my actions match my words. I promise to always chase you even though I know you're mine. I offer you my heart, mind, body, and soul. I promise to protect you, provide for you, and our future little ones. And to always keep that pretty face along with your heart smiling forever.
Thank you for being the best sister and role model a girl could ask for. We've been through so much together and there's nobody else in this world who I'd rather share my happiness and hardships with. You're one of the most genuine and defined and warm-hearted person I know. You've always picked me up when I felt like falling and always kept my head on straight. You were always there when I needed you the most and I truly couldn't do life without you. Chris, you truly become like a brother to me. You are always there to guide me and give me any advice I've always needed. Thank you for always being there to put a smile on Alyssa's face. Because of you, I know Alyssa will always be in the presence of love that she deserves, and I couldn't ask for a better man to marry my best friend. Seeing my sister as happy as she is always puts a smile on my face. I've seen y'all laugh together, cry together, walk together, and have so many ups and downs in this relationship, but I believe that is what true love is all about. Your relationship is the epitome of true love. You two are so perfect for each other, and I love you both so much. I'm going to end this speech with my favorite saying, may you live forever in love, and may love live forever in you. Love y'all. Christopher, take Alyssa to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold, to love, honor, comfort, and support, in sickness and in health, in good times and through all challenges, for as long as you both shall live. I do. And do you, Alyssa, take Christopher to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold, to love, honor, comfort, and support, in sickness and in health, in good times and through all challenges, for as long as you both shall. I do.
Christopher and Alyssa. By the power vested in me by God, it is my great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. Now you may kiss the bride. It is my great pleasure to proudly present to you all Mr. and Mrs. Christopher and Alyssa Donovey.